Okay, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're going to take the Hubson 501S out for a little bit of sport flying today. I've got uh, 10 satellites on the bird. I've got 7 satellites on the controller. I've got it clear to fly from hover, just making sure everything's clear. And then what I want to do is uh, start uh, taking it up. So we'll go ahead and arm it, and we'll get it up in the air there, kind of balance it around the odd background, let it kind of settle in a little bit. Like I say, it's a little bit windy out here, just do kind of a quick walk around. Um, so I believe I got video recording on the copter, just checking everything out. And, uh, I take it out and do a little sport flying with it. And we'll see how it does with this. Spinning around, doing a couple spins. We'll put in just some spins. Let's put in some tidy yaws. Let's, uh, let's get into some yaw circles here. It's definitely not as fast as the Spark, I can tell you that much. Uh, definitely not as fast as the Spark. Spark does a whole lot quicker job at flying. And I think this is coming back towards me. Yeah, let's whip it back around. The yaw is going a far tighter loop than what the spark does. So, uh, because you see, I put this in, a, in, in just a real touchy on the uh, yaw side. I'm trying to open up the loop. It's uh, far more lumbering than the spark. I'm really surprised. I thought this would be more competitive with the spark speed wise, but uh, let's give it, give it a little bit more air here. We do have a bit of a wind. It is fighting a bit of a wind. You can see it, you see it pushing into that wind. This is full stick, by the way. And Even if I give it just the, the, the least yaw, it goes into a very, very tight circle. Now, I'm sort of liking that circle there a little bit. But I'm just ever so gently touching the yaw on this thing. And then let, let, let's see what let's, let's see if I can do it backwards. I've totally flipped the from forward to backwards. I still I've still got it on the yaw. And uh, let's take it back this way a little bit. Boy, man, look at it push that wind. That is... That's really taking some time against the wind. Let's put it back into this yaw spin. Go back that way into the yaw spin. Boy, man, it hits that wind. It just really knocks it down. And the wind's not that bad. It maybe got six to ten mile, maybe six mile an hour gust. That's probably tops. And it's just kind of lumbering around flying. I think my SEMA X5 is actually faster than this guy. Just bring the background. One of the things with that gold canopy on it, it gives a flash of the sun so you can kind of tell which way it's uh, orientated. I wanted to try some FPV with this, but I figured uh, I want to do some line of sight first with it because I've got those goggles set up I did a prior episode on. And so, uh, so just kind of doing a circle, really slow circle in the spark. Hover out there a little bit. Uh, close my 
case it must be pointing at me so it's coming this way I see the glint of the canopy on it and we'll take it out back up this way a little bit we'll fly it out oh I mean it hits that wind it just slows it right down if I run perpendicular to the wind it does pretty good right now it's pushing the wind and so uh, one of the things I do is I need to check the battery here Ah, 7.4. I'm getting a little bit low, so uh, I'm going to bring it back in and bring it, bring it back over to me a little bit so I can bring it down. I just want to see it hover a little bit. See it bu buffeting the wind? Let's see if I bring it back a little bit closer into me. See that wind blowing to try to compensate? See, I'm going with, uh, well, yeah, I'm going with the wind. Now I'm going against the wind. Notice it, how it uh, really, really pull it back. See, the wind really lifted. The wind just really gusted. So I'm going to bring it back this way. It's, when I left the house, it really wasn't windy. I got out here to the field. The uh, wind really picked up. It's really fighting, uh... Really fighting the wind over here. Sounds like a bunch of angry bumblebees. You know, I wonder if that isn't why why bees seem to be attracted to this thing. The Hubson 501S seems to have a reputation for bees. Okay, let's go ahead. I want to bring it down a little bit. Again, it's being bumped in a little bit by the wind. I want to be careful. I don't trust this one. I don't trust drones, period, but I trust this less than the DJI. So, uh, just kind of want to walk around. But you can feel, you can see the wind bumping it over there. So, uh, uh, I'm not sure it recorded video on that. I guess I'll start and stop it a few times to... I guess if the video camera's on, it's recording. But, uh, anyways, we're gonna... I'm gonna scooch this over a little bit. And not towards me. I'll bring this back. And uh, let's go ahead. Boom. Okay, so it was a pretty good flight. I'm a little bit disappointed in the speed of this guy. This is the first time I've really taken it out sort of trying to sport fly it. But, hey, it is what it is. So it was a good flight. Uh, a little bit windy out here, unfortunately. I think some uh, clouds are moving in. Some weather's moving in. So, anyways, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Flying the 501S out here on a beautiful... Yeah, it's still July. Not August yet. Uh, July day. And, hey, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.